Welcome, this is Nathan and welcome back to another video. In today's video we'll be continuing to collect our what is civilization we started. So I think on our one I probably will do a little update. Uh sorry if I forget what happened. This yellow team broke away from this teal team. Oops. This new brownish team broke away from the orange team and what well, blind team kind of invading Greece? But today it's going to be a big episode because we may be seeing the downfall of the number one country. Yeah, I'm outright saying it. Uh, we may be seeing the downfall of the red team. It took long enough, but we may be seeing the downfall. They've invaded a lot of countries and becoming very big. And then you know what happens with big countries? They become very unstable and explode. Now, the red team may say number one. That's very unlikely, though. Because the turquoise team is becoming a very um, big part of the world. The world is definitely starting to move more towards the turquoise team instead of the red team. Because in the beginning, everyone's moving to the red team to, like, because it was the number one power. But the turquoise team is number two. And if you take a look at trade routes, as you can see, I would say all the Asian trade routes are because of the turquoise team. We're actually going to begin with trade routes right now in this video. The trade route into Africa will now be continued. As it splits off into two areas. It will be going into this Ethiopian country, which is actually done pretty quickly. Africa wasn't a big focus for a while, because there wasn't really anything done here. Now, until bridges are invented, bri until bridges are invented, like long bridges are invented, you know what I mean? We probably won't see a trade route go down to Morocco, so, yeah, we won't see that happen for a while. The trade route now continues up into the Libyan country, or should I say the purple team, and into the teal team, where it stops. That's because this land over here is quite new. Well, not really, I did that on the wrong layer. Okay, I, I'm going to redraw that because I did that on the wrong layer. No, not that. I need black. Right, sorry about that, I was on the wrong layer, so I just gotta make sure it's on the right layer, otherwise we will have just a black line going up. Oh, hey, is there a line? Oh, for God's sake. Hang on, let me fix this. Alright, it's all fixed. We aren't taking a look at trade routes anymore, because they're unimportant right now. What is important is more and more people moving to Asia. The land up here in Russia is kind of unlivable. But if you notice, Japan has not been discovered yet. And Korea will be the country discovering Japan. I think I said this in the last video, but I'm, I said that Japan was discovered a little bit. And we see Korea, I think I'm going to call this Korea from now on, jump over onto Kaido and planning on even further, like taking over some of the lands on Japan. But for now, they can't exactly do that because that's quite a long journey. And they would have to move stuff from their capital. So if they only wanted to, they could go around like that to Japan. But mostly they'll go like that. But I don't know. We have the dark. We have this blue team over here beginning to move in more into like Xinjiang area. Because it's really the only option they have. This is, I would say, one of the top 10 countries in the world in military rankings. Oh, we could probably do military rankings, actually. It's been a while. By the way, that's not the right colour, is it? I don't know it is. I would say, at this point, the red team is number one. The turquoise team is a hard number two. The chocolate team it goes to number three. That doesn't look like three. Number four would go over to the orange team. Number five would go over to the blue team in Asia. Number six would go down to this green team. Number seven, I would hand it over to the dark to the blue team. You can't even see the seven. Just know there were seven. 
Number eight, blue team. Number nine, this blue team up here. And finally, but not least, number ten, Korea. Korea's still learning, I guess. But the blue team will be moving into parts of Asia, which are very mountainous. And also the Gobi Deserts here, so they're going to have to be careful. So they're moving a little bit, they don't go all the way in, because this is where the Gobi Desert is. But they need more land for their growing population. Because a lot of people are moving to Asia, so uh, this country's going to a lot of population. By the way, idea, should I add major cities? Obviously it would be on a different layer, but I wonder if I should add major cities. This little, like, this little yellow team, which I'm not going to say anything, but it may be one of my favourites, is going to go up into Pakistan. Land. Pakistani land. In Monday. Oh, God, they do not take over all of Central Asia. This area is very heavily mountainous. And finally, but not least, the Turkish team will be the final country moving in to the Central Asian lands. Now, Turquoise team is going to be taking a lot less of this land because they are, um, well, let's just say they're, uh, you know, kind of not a country that can take much land from this Himalayan area, but they try. So, they took, they took, they took two, I'm just going to give up. They took, Okay, never mind. They take two big pieces of land, and now the rest of Central Asia is kind of just nobody wants it. Like, it's the Gobi Desert, the Himalayas, and mountains. Nobody wants it. Um, anyway, the brown team, who is allies with Turquoise team, feel like I should point that out. They will be moving down into... East East Asia a little bit more. Now move down and go around the the uh this little Shreve Thailand thingy mid the Panandor Thailand. Now you gotta realize this little brown team is not strong at all, but they have been heavily funded by the turquoise team, so this is why they're very able to do this and keep together for now. But I think it's that point in the video where we'll be going to the big stuff. And that big thing is the red team falling apart. Now, war has been popular in the red team for ancient times, I would say. People have been in the idea of war for ages. If anything, this is like, this is where war was and then this is where it took off. Everyone liked the idea of war at a certain point. But now that the world is expanding out a lot, uh, the red team has become kind of forgotten. The people who are left in the country don't like the ruler. The ruler still has ideas for expansion. Obviously, the first guy is kind of dead. He has plans to invade... Anyway, his plans are to invade this whole green country. But... People decide that that is not going to happen because nobody should be invaded. They're probably the only, they're probably the the most aggressive country in the world right now. So we see the red team break apart. So let's take a look at these rebellions that break away. So just like that, the red team is broken apart. So as you can see, the red team has lost a lot of land. Like I mean, a lot. We have a Dark grey country breaking apart from the red team over here. A chunk of land who didn't want to be a country ended up joining the pink team. And another pink team over here has appeared and a brownish peachy team has appeared down here. Now, the red team is a country that would a 100% fight this back. But they're not, because the people are saying so. The red team... Under all the pressure from the civilians, will not be able to fight this war, and will end up piecing with all sides to land their independence. So this new, so this new Turkish team will have the capital by there, 
our new Dark Grey Country will have the capital right there. And our new Peachy Team will have the capital right by here. So yeah, a lot, a lot more um, updates going on down here in uh, Middle East. We haven't had an update here for a while, other than, well, I guess, the Light Blue Team exploding. And with the Red Team's collapse, this is going to push up the Turquoise Team to number one. And everybody is now focusing on the Turquoise Team. Would you believe it? The Turquoise team is now becoming a massive area of the world to go to. As all these countries are now saying... A lot of people from the old red team are now going over to the Turquoise team instead of staying in the shadows of the red team. So the red team is experiencing a lot of downfall right now, but... Well, who knows, they might bring their empire back. Speaking of bringing empire back, um... The Orange Team will want to re-bring their empire to its glory again. If you remember, they own this country right here, but now that's his own thing. So instead, the the um, Orange Team will be going against, I guess, if you want to say, a country of its... Oh, I already have the Orange Team selected? Oh, okay. The Orange Team will be invading the Gold Team. So troops move into the Gold Team, and uh, the Gold Team isn't even in the top 10, so the whole Gold Team gets slapped. The Baltic team up here, they are going to rush in to save as much of the gold team as they can. Even though they broke away from the gold team, they want to save chunks of it because the orange team is a powerhouse in the area. And just like that, the orange team is now becoming a massive country once again as they bump, as they are growing in power a lot. Did I include the Cyan Team in the rankings? I don't think I did. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't include Cyan Team in the rankings. Uh, Cyan Team is probably number 7 in my opinion. I know they own very valuable land in real life, but right now it's not valuable. We are talking about Cyan Team. They will continue going up into Scandinavia, even though this is like Arctic at this point. Should I take a massive chunk of land by here? But that's it. Nothing else. The Baltic team, who just made a move already, the people want them to make another move. That's not true, I just want to make this border look better. Anyway, uh... Pink team's feeling threatened by the, uh, orange team. They're very, um, aggressive, aren't they? So, the pink team and orange team need to work out something to make sure these two do not go to war. And they actually become pretty friendly with each other. This blue team is now starting to do kind of the same thing with the orange and blue team of blue team here. And we can see the world is pretty peaceful after the collapse of the red team. For now. Anyway, we have a massive war breaking out between two countries. This is a war that nobody saw even coming. And why is this war breaking out? I don't know. This dark green team will invade the turquoise team. Now, why? Nobody knows. It's kind of a mystery, actually. The Dark Green team has sent some troops sent troops into the uh, Turquoise team without Turquoise team even realising because these two, they didn't, they didn't have relations really, but they, they're being, they're, they're being attacked now by the Dark Green team. Now, uh, if you didn't hear me earlier, the Turquoise team is number one. And if you know anything about the number one country, you don't want to mess, you don't want to mess around with them. Like, nobody wanted to mess around with the red team. That's why they kind of stayed together for so long. The turquoise team is not something you want to mess with. So, once the turquoise team is together, uh, the dark green team is slammed. Is slammed out of existence. There's literally you no know, hope. They get... The south of that country is stormed through like nothing.
We see the capital being encircled, which is a new strategy that they just made. And it's on. And the start green team will completely collapse. So let's take a look at that, shall we? So in the end, uh, Turquoise team takes a big chunk of land from the dark green team, and we see these two being, we see the rest of the dark green team being chopped up into new countries. This this light green team and this purple team in Sri Lanka. Now this definitely does affect trade routes, as if we what the hell. What? Hang on, I'm gonna fix this. Sorry about what is happening here. Anyway, that was interesting, to say the least. The trade route is now extended to the little lime green team down here. It won't be extended to Sri Lanka, because you know why. The trade routes are extended outwards to connect up with these guys' capitals. The red team didn't want to do this, but they were forced again by the civilians. We actually see this trade route being connected up through Asia, which should have been done in the first place, to be honest. We also have a goal being done to connect up the trade route to here, which isn't going to be that hard. The trade route goes through a goes through the dark blue team into the uh, and as you can see, uh, the trade routes are coming along very um, nice. Anyway, new country time, because it's been a while, actually, since the last time we had... Oh, it's not been a while. The rest of the land over here in Vietnam will be becoming a new country. If you guys want to... Wait, isn't this... Oh, wait, that's Circle Steam. Oh, damn it, sorry. Uh, my fault. I just want to like Turquoise Team. It's not similar to this colour, is it? Uh, it is. Okay, I'm struggling to find colours now. You know what, how about Dark Turquoise Team? We haven't done that. So this new Dark Turquoise Team. Make it up. I don't care. I guess if you want to say it's a group of people that left the Turquoise Team. That capital would be right there. As you can see, the world is being taken over very quickly. So the final thing that's going to be happening in this video, it's going to be... The expansion of this old green team. Expand out into the Mongolia areas of the world. They're not a very strong country, so they, they can't really do much. They're doing this because, again, they're having a very big population growth from everyone moving away from Asia and Europe. The Middle East, I mean. This new country up here, which is obviously the... I don't even know what this colour is. Uh, pinkish reddish. They take over this piece of land by here. Although they can't do much because they're actually probably the least popular country in the world, maybe. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.